and going now. Well, we lit it over an hour ago, um, but the fire wouldn't get going. Um, trying to drop in the packets of fire started from the top. So I took a torch and I lit it from the bottom and took right off. Uh, I was going to give you some readings on the temperatures. Here's your fire. I you can see in there. We got a pretty good fire going. Uh, there's quite a bit of smoke coming out too. As far as using the fans on this thing, uh, the free breeze, no problem. This, this top gets hot really fast. As far as cooking on it, um, no problem. If you want a hot top, it's, it's a real good cook stove as far as getting hot. Give you some readings. Hopefully, you can see what's going on. All right. On the hot plate on the front, it's 425. Uh, where the free breeze is sitting is around 46, 500. The teapot is. That's uh, that hot plate is over 400. Front hot plate here is 287. Hot plate over there is 233. Hot plate over here is 192. So you have quite a variation. Um, so that's kind of handy. When you're running fans, free breeze takes a lot of heat, guys. It won't work on most stoves. You got to have a stove that gets extremely hot, about 400 degrees surface temperatures consistently or it doesn't work. Uh, the little thermoelectric guy over there, you really don't want to run it much over 350, 400 to burn it up. So it's perfect if you have one of the thermoelectric fans, keep it in the corner in the coolest part of the stove. I also uh, put some bricks in the oven. The bricks would represent the loaves of bread. If you can see them. I'm going to engage the oven and we'll get some readings. Now the bricks are about 122, 126, 135. It's much hotter on that side. 138, 137, 143. And I really don't have the oven engaged. So we'll let the fire get going really good, get a good bed of coals in there. And then we'll engage the oven. And we'll take some readings on those bricks. And I'll let you know how the oven does. Uh, as far as the heating capabilities of the stove, it's primarily a radiant stove. There is no convection properties at all that I can see in the stove, like zero. It's 100% radiant, um, which means it's going to heat the objects nearest the stove, and it's not going to throw, you know, much heat in the back bedrooms, so they're going to be cold. Um, so for heating, it's not very good, um, but it is a cook stove, not a heating stove. You can see it's cranking pretty good. Uh, fire is going really good. Good fire. The oven's engaged. The chimney's hot. It's not even smoking when I'm opening the door. So that's that's a good sign. Um, it's pulling good. So far, everything mm -hmm. is real good. Um, stove's getting hot. So I was going to give you some temperature readings. I just engaged the oven. Um, so we're just now going to start climbing. We'll see what happens in an hour. I'll give you a reading. Um, I'm going to give you the surface temperature. It's been, I don't know, a half hour, 45 minutes since we did this last. So surface temperature, it's above reading. So it's 600 or so. The bottom plate of my... Uh, Free breeze is 527, so it means that plate's 600. That plate's too hot. Down around the front, the first one's over 500. 400, the teapot is, is 450. That one's 350. That one's 275. So, here's some readings on the stove. 197 coming through the door. It's not real hot to stand in front of. A lot of people don't realize when you're cooking in front of this thing, it's hot. 
you don't want a lot of heat coming through the door, so that's real good. It's not, it's almost 200. Down the bottom, it's 85. Door in the oven is 97. Yeah, on the side of the stove, down the bottom, 145, where the uh, draft control is, 200. Further up you go to the stove, the hotter it's getting, 500 degrees at the top. So, combustibles, this is a non-combustible wall, cement and steel. Put that next to wood, you're going to have a fire, so you have to be in it. It's got to be prepared or prepped properly. So don't just put it in next to a wood wall like this. You burn your house down. So I just want you to know. Um, we check the oven. Just engaged the oven not too long ago. Our bricks are like bread. 225 in the back, left, right corner. 216 in the middle. 225. The left corner, first one is the right corner, 221. Front right corner, 212. 200 in the middle. Left is 202. Pretty good, pretty close. Oven walls, that oven wall is 400. Back oven walls, 275. Firebox oven wall is 260. It's really good. Up at the top, it's way hotter. Towards the bottom, it's not bad. So it's that's good. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of times you have a real hot firebox and the oven cooks on one side. Not good um, if you're trying to cook bread. So try to test that. Other than that, I'm crust. Stove is uh, burning good. seem to be leaking much smoke and uh, it's doing its job. We will check the oven in a half hour and we'll let you know. So far so good. She's burning really sweet. We're going to take a look at the bricks in the oven. I'm going to give you some more readings. Temperature wise side we are above range. That means it's over 500. Drop down below the cast iron. Sheet metal on the side of the stove is running about 450. The air inlet's around 270. Front of the stove down at the bottom around 100. The door is 270. A little bit of heat coming. Not too bad. I don't want to stand in front of it all day. Oven door 120. The oven's engaged. It's been engaged for a while. I'm going to get some readings inside. The top is off. Um, the first plate, it's off the chart, so that's above 500. The plate next to the smaller plates, 500. And the frame is running around 450. Next frame drops to 260. Hot plates, 420. Rear hot plates 400, front right hot plates 300, rear hot plate is 266, or 366, excuse me, 366. So we'll take a reading on the oven. Oven door, 300 degrees, back of oven 350, side of oven, right side 460. Left side, wow, 400, that's good. All right, rear brick, left side, left corner, 356, center brick, 343, right rear brick, 345, front right brick, 321, center front brick, 320, and 322 on the left side. Very good. So the oven eats evenly. The gauge is not accurate. The gauge is showing about 175 degrees. So the gauge is not working. Um, so that part's not good. 
But you can get a little uh, smaller one like this that you can actually put in there. The warming oven is running oh, 100 about 120 degrees. We'll actually set that little puppy in that oven. We'll see what the oven's actually running at. Probably a good idea. Pretty warm. Get a reading on the top. Reading is 420. Pretty much all the way across the top. 450 on the side. Bottom, 300. Back, 320. Left side, 450. So, impressive. Very good. So far, so good the way it cooks on the oven. It's pretty even. So, you people that cook uh, and bake, you got the readings, you can tell me. I don't know anything about that, but. As far as the way the stove is functioning, we'll see what kind of fire we have in the morning. And we'll know if we can get an overnight burn. Um, and then we'll, we'll let you know that. So until then, this is Woody. Be blessed.